Well hello folks, here we are with another little glider project. This as you can see is just a little nose. You've seen most of the others including my original build blog which has about 30 or 40,000 views, EDF versions, foam board versions and so on. This is the latest creation, little nose with an EDF. Well this is the EDF that I used for the Vulcan project. It's the same as the one that I used on my original venture into EDFs. First time I'd ever tried it. At this time mounted on a, a normal little glider which absolutely fly, flies wonderfully. Problem was the one I bought for the Vulcan I ordered from AliExpress. It took two months to get here so I would recommend you buy the Banggood one which is on my link which I'm at the moment they're promising a, a one-week delivery. Anyway, enough said of that, let's get on with the build blog for the Vulcan. This is how I went about designing and building it. First step was to create the foam board wing profile. Now the profile I used for my original lightweight little glider Vulcan with a pusher was from the plans for this foam board Vulcan which is a beautiful flyer. I've still got the plans but it was much easier for me to just trace around my little pusher Vulcan. Got the basics there of a Vulcan and like I say it's going to be an EDF version. Right well the original idea was to cut a couple of slots in the side. Decided that was not going to work so in fact I glued those two halves together and this is where we're at now. And then the master plan is to glue one half underneath like so probably needs a bit of trimming but that gives me the kind of low half of the fuselage. This bit will go on the top, may have to move it back a bit. The air intakes for the EDF are going to be here so this is going to be cut back, EDF will sit about here with a duct coming out that way. That's the master plan, I just thought I'd give it a go, got to trim it up a bit but it at least gives this gives some space here for LiPo speed controller. I can cut this through so that I've got a good ducting. Plan is a scoop here of some sort to feed it. Probably put it like that. Feed the EDF. Duct out the back. Right so I'm making a start. I'll come back when I get a bit further with it so don't go away. Right well I've hollowed it out and I've had to consider how I intended to mount the EDF. Now I considered sort of building some ducting with foam board but then I discovered much easier that toilet roll was the perfect size for this and kitchen roll fits nicely into that like that and so as you can see what we've got here is toilet roll and kitchen roll. Hot glued along here, a bit of tape too to actually reinforce this because it's pretty weak and this is going to sit in here like this that's going to sit in there like that. Considering where the COG is going to be and balance and so on is going to be a is a consideration obviously. So this is hollowed out. I figured with a 1300 milliamp 3S in there, providing I can keep the weight not too far back here, I think the COG should be fine with 1300 milliamp 3S up front here which will sit nicely in there like so. So I'm quite pleased with the way that worked out. That tucks in nicely in there. I've already cut the ailerons so I'm going to have to fit a servo here, servo there, so as not to put the weight too far aft because obviously that, that we've got the weight of this there anyway, so as to put the weight not too far aft. I'm going to mount these as far forward as I can get them and then of course the speed controller receiver will fit in here and as you can see I've already hollowed, hollowed this out I think with a 1300 milliamp battery here I think it should be pretty easy to get the COG right which is just about here somewhere if I remember so that's the progress next step will be as I say servos for that speed controller and then stick the ducting on here, probably put a bit down the middle to make it look a bit prettier. 
but I'm quite pleased with the way that's going. I don't know whether it's going to fly, but it's been fun figuring out how to build it. Right, that's all for now. Let's get on and do some work. I experimented with a few templates to try and decide just how the intakes were going to be for this because I wanted a nice clean airflow. As you can see I've come up with this idea. Got one of those there, one of these under here somewhere like so and in foam board I've now cut, which one do I want? I've now cut one to hot glue there I'll find a way to make it fair in nicely and likewise a smaller one oh that was the smaller one likewise smaller one underneath which will go like that probably cut away here to improve the airflow still got the hole there the intention with that is the speed controller ESC will have to come along through there sit in there receiver in there battery in here vertical stab on the back here somewhere so making progress next time you see it I'll probably have the servos in control rods whatever you want to call them I can never think of the name of these things and my ducting on here to make it look a bit prettier so I'm getting there slowly stay tuned right well here we are again and progress is being made as you can see vertical stab servos in quite nice and discreet and safe under there and connected just here not too long the other major thing that's happened is I've started putting some kind of ducting on here as you can see here decided to go from here to just there because I quite like this tube bit I've made a couple of bits to go here that I've shaped whoops I've shaped put a little slight bend in just physically bent them a bit so they go in here and they're going to go like that just to fill that like so and then on this side you can see I've made a bit of a cut out here trying to improve the airflow here that's the idea I've already got a speed control here what is it it's um, 20 amp which I think should be enough for that and then I can put on the top ducting which is going to go like this makes quite a nice wide orifice at the front here for the airflow and I'll probably just for aesthetic purposes cut this slightly across there so that it looks just like one large opening yeah I reckon so although at the moment that gives the wing some nice strength but it's um I think it's beginning to look quite like a sexy shape really if I can use that about a little nose and a bit of foam board yeah I'm quite pleased with the way, the way it's coming along whether it's going to fly well of course is another question as it goes at the moment as I said before with a 1.3 3s here it is still balancing quite nicely around here which is where the COG should be so I've got to be brave now once this is all glued up I'm not going to be able to get in here to do anything and as it happens receiver turned up today so I've got everything I need actually to finish this so next time you see this it should be all together and ready for a maiden don't go away well it's in although to be honest it doesn't look very pretty from underneath even though I tried really hard to get these to be a good fit by sh chamfering the edges and so on but I think a bit of red tape along there that will cover that up yeah what you what the eye doesn't see the heart doesn't grieve or something like that so next step of course is to put the top bits on and fill that last section there don't go away right well as you can see top bits of ducting are on and in fact shock horror it's actually ready to fly now let's take a closer look at the moment this hatch is not fixed because it helps obviously helps you to see exactly what's happened in here I carved this back a bit further ultimately to even improve the airflow even more here and it also meant I had access to the servo extension wires and the speed controller 
which I've actually got cable tied on there. Obviously I kept every, wanted to keep everything pretty secure because you don't want things being sucked into this EDF. Once I've maidened it, I shall take that on to start with, once I've maidened it I will glue that in place. I think it looks pretty good. I did cut this back here. I've actually made a couple of inserts here. Let's take this off. Right, made a couple of inserts here to fill that hole. They're just cardboard with a bit of foam on the back, a bit of foam board. They tuck in there, probably glue those in place or something. Receiver is actually tucked under there. You can't see it, but it tucks nicely. I've carved that even further in there with the hot wire. To my surprise, COG wise, the battery doesn't want to go here. It, it will balance better with say a thousand milliamp 2S there. COG is about here somewhere, so that's not too bad. But with a 3S 1.3, it's actually way too nose heavy, which is why I've actually made it so that this will fit way up inside there. And then with that there, I've made a couple of marks here. COG is actually there. I'll put the figure on, but with that there, I can push this in far enough that it will balance. So ultimately, I guess the weight of the ducting here, which is forward of the COG, has, has actually made it quite um, nose heavy. Works okay though. I, it, I hate put adding weight, but in fact, like I say, I can actually slide this way inside there. Yeah, it, goes, it will go right in. And where are my marks? Here and here. If I can get it right back in there, I can actually get it just right. I'm well pleased with the look of it. Uh, I think it, think it looks great actually. Um, I just hope, see no reason why it shouldn't fly. One thing I didn't mention before was, from what I read online, you can actually slim that down by 10%. Added the stab and at the suggestion of my friend Cliff Harvey, who also has a YouTube channel about radio control planes and master builder, I'll put a link to him down below. His question was, how are you going to throw it? So I've added this little skid, which actually means it makes it much easier to throw because otherwise I'd probably have to boomerang it and I hate that. Oh, what else to say? Added some more reinforcing tape on the toilet roll ducting. Added some tape under here because I found before that white or light coloured gliders, once they're up in the air and start getting away from you, it, it becomes very difficult to actually see which, which way they're going and which way they're up. Anyway, that's it for now. All in all, I'm very pleased with the way it's turned out. I think it looks like a great looking model. All up weights come out not far short of 500 grams with the 1.33S in it, which is heavier than I would have liked, but I guess quite a weight of foam board and so on. I'm afraid you're gonna to have to wait for the maiden because the weather is absolutely awful at the moment. So don't forget to hit subscribe if you wanna see that. Even give it a like if you've enjoyed it. Check out some of the other vids of my other little creations, little twin, little biplane, six different little glider transformations. And while you're there, check out some of the other vids on my channel. But that's all for now. Stay safe and happy flying. Hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.